it's fun, isn't it? Like <clears throat> when you look into a girl's eyes and she's looking at you, you're looking at her, like that's fun. Why is it fun? Why, why do girls like to look in a guy's eyes who they're comfortable with? They gotta be comfortable with you though. That's the thing. I'm not talking about the gold diggers who are working you. Like, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about a natural good girl and you just find like, she's just looking at you. She's making really good eye contact when she talks to you. Why? It's like a, when somebody's open, if you're open, you're coming from an authentic place inside yourself. She's getting a transmission when you're, right? She's locked in, eyes are important. They have this tantric thing, eye gazing. It's cool, I did it, I like it. I'll do it with the right girl. <laughs> Try it, see, see how powerful, but it's powerful. It's powerful if you let yourself be vulnerable and do it. Because you can, there's some people they do it and they just check out and they do it like a robot. But no, it's <clears throat> looking into uh, each other's eyes is strong. There's like a tickle, it's like a tickle that happens. They get tickled. You can make an orgasm just looking at them, right? Get to that level. <laughs> What's the technique to do that? That would be a million dollar uh, business, wouldn't it? Anyway, you're looking at the girl's eye, you know, she, she like, she, she there, it stimulates her life force. You're, you're given a transmission through your eyes because this is one of the strongest ways that we convey our energy. So it's like she's looking and it just feels good. She don't, she doesn't know most. They don't, they don't contemplate that and, and, and figure that out. It's just instinctual. They just, something that's just like, I like looking at your eyes. Don't mess it up though. See, this is the other, see, this is, it's kind of fun. That's why I say it's fun. This whole, how the human dynamic psychology thing works because you can, you can mess that up. Here's how you mess it up. So you're, you're not even like, you're just being natural. You're talking to the girl, you're looking in her eyes. You see that she enjoys it. You're enjoying it. Oh, this is nice. Then what happens? Mind comes in. The mind comes in and says, oh man, like she's really digging you right now. Do something with your eyes to make it more, you know, strong. Let's see, how, how about if I do like that or something? And then what happens? She looks away. <laughs> That's what happens. Everything's a test on a certain level. Can you see it? You gotta see the test before you can pass the test. This is, this is what it is. Also, some girls, when they look at you, they're, you see, catch this too. You gotta to read the difference. You gotta know, are they looking at you because it's authentic and they enjoy this transmission of energy? There's a certain vulnerability in both of you. You're having sex, basically. What is sex? Union. Doesn't mean you have to physically penetrate her. It means there's some union that's happening. You can do that just with your eyes. That's why I don't, I don't really need to have sex anymore. It's, it's, I mean, I can, I'm not like, you know, declared celibacy, but if I never had sex again, it's totally cool. I can connect with the girl this, you know, without doing that. <clears throat> and also you gotta factor in all the drama that might happen after sex, you know, you gotta look at all that stuff. Don't, don't be a robot and just follow your uh, tendencies and obsessions and urges, you know? Fast forward a little bit and see, like, okay, I wanna take her home and then maybe we have sex, okay? They, see, most people stop there. Don't stop there, keep going. What's gonna happen after I have sex? Let, let intuition try to give you a little vision, you know? Like, what's gonna happen? How's she, what's gonna happen to our relationship then? Yeah. Look at that, then you might make better decisions. So sometimes though, when you're looking at a girl, she's staring at you, she's working you too. Like she's edgy. I'm not talking about like gross level working, like prostitutes are working. No, there, there's, there's all subtle levels uh, to being worked. Like everybody's working each other all the time on some level. <laughs> but anyway, we're talking about edging now. The girls are really good edgers. They're also, they, they, they're, they're getting a dopamine hit from your energy. It's like, she's like them. He's just like, like, this just feels really good. Like, can you like, just keep uh, looking at me? Like validates me. Like I feel good. 
Like he's he's giving me energy. He's not he's not uh, he's not faking it. He's not he's just I don't know why. I just I like looking at him. Oh, that's nice. But that's cool. But then sometimes they can start to do that like too much and then intuition kicks in and you start to see because you have but you have to be aware of your own edgy tendencies if you hadn't done if you haven't done the proper work on your own self you can't recognize this you can start to see how they might be using you just for your energy they just want to be around your energy and then they'll play they'll they'll try to be you know put on the pretty girl face to seduce you into giving her energy. They're having a down day, then they see you. Oh, I can get some energy from him. Hey, how you doing? A second ago, they're all depressed, but now they they put on the actor suit because they want your energy. You got to be able to read all this stuff, you know, and you will. It's automatic. It's not like you can't go to class. You can't go to the Alpha School and learn this the Alpha Man School. You, you, th this knowledge is already inborn in you. It just has to wake up. How does it wake up? By doing semen retention, cleaning your, your lifestyle <coughs> up, having your inner space more clean. You're not being dragged all over the place with your tendencies and your thoughts and your urges. How are you gonna, how are you gonna be aware of your more subtle powers if you're like just totally identified with your mind and your urges and chasing all that? You can't. See, people have to understand that. It's not that you got to go learn this stuff. You've already, it's already in your own inner library, but like you're paying attention to other things, your lower self, you're paying attention to that. So you can't access your higher library because you're stuck in the lower library. So you start to come out of that. You start to get more clean. All these intuitive powers and faculties, they just start to wake up there. It's automatic. It's just automatic. You don't need any special skills. You don't need to be a certain way. No, we all have that software. Isn't that good news? Doesn't matter how creative you are. Oh no, I'm not like, or your IQ. It doesn't matter. This stuff is already in you. It just needs to be like awoken. This is what semen retention does. This is coupled, backed with a good lifestyle. This is what it does. So don't be a victim to the mind that wants to milk the eye contact you get from a girl. You let it come, you enjoy that moment, and then you go. When the, when the conversation comes to a natural end, you go. Don't be so hungry. It's like everybody's using each other to get a dopamine hit. <laughs> she's, she's getting a dopamine hit because she's looking into your eyes. You like that she's looking into your eyes and that she feels good, and that gives you a dopamine hit, and it's like everybody's using each other. Imagine they like each other. So, just make the distinction. Your powers of discernment will be able to make this distinction as, as you grow. You can discern, like, is she looking at me because this is just a natural, authentic flow of energy. Spirit enjoys looking at spirit. Oh, that feels really good. That's great. And then when it ends, you let it end. Don't try to hang on to it. So discern that between if a girl's just looking at you because she's edging and she's just using you for energy. But see, you won't be able to catch that if you're also using her for energy. See, then this is the law of attraction. This is how you, this is how it works. You can't, a high vibrational being's not gonna attract another a high vibrational, no, yeah, here they will. <laughs> a high vibrational being isn't gonna attract a low vibrational being. It doesn't work like that. There's a, you, you can't mess with the law of attraction and energetics. You can't manipulate with that by all these nonsense techniques that you, you go waste your money on to learn. You can't do that. Are you gonna learn techniques and be an actor? then you're gonna attract a superficial girl who's, who's also an actor. You, you be solid inside, and then you're gonna attract a girl who's solid. That's what you want. And then there's less drama. Don't you want less drama? I don't know. Back in the day, I liked the drama for a little bit. I used to say, it hurts so good. But then you get to the point where it just hurts. You're like, okay, nah, 
you're nice, you look good and all that, but I just, I can't do it, sorry. So you gotta reach that in an organic way. And by sharing about this stuff, I feel it can speed up, accelerate this evolutionary journey that everybody's on. That's why I make the videos. Go see my spiritual channel if you want, Spiritual Renaissance, and I also have another channel, Transcending Shadows. These links are on my channel homepage. Just scroll down and you'll, you, you can click on them. Because on Transcending Shadows, I talk more on practical level, diet, and lifestyle, and things like that, that also help raise the vibration in conjunction with your semen retention uh, practice. We need, we need to, we need spiritual continuity, health, healthy lifestyle continuity in everything we do. And then everything matches. It's just uh, each one p potentiates the other one, and then it's just like you're vibing. We got to come back to basics, you know. We, we forget the basics because we live in a technological world with all this conditioning and people just are all confused. We like forgot about basics. Eat good, good company, <laughs> good environment, do introspection, have a spiritual practice. Like we forgot all, about all that. We just want to take pills. Give me a pill, make me feel better. Let me get high. Let me go to a class and learn something that I already know, but I can't access it. It's backwards thinking. I had to leave the country, man, to get deprogrammed uh, from all this nonsense. So, yeah, good luck. See you.